beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today's beer is going to be the last of the beer uh, my dad got me whilst in Greece. Today's beers are going to be the Rithymnian Blonde and Rithymnian Dark. It's, a very, it's from a very very small microbrewery in Rith Rithymno, Greece. And um, they actually only brew these two beers and a fun thing Bottles are not even their own. They brew it on old Flensburger Pilsner bottles and Brauerei Strate Detmold bottles. That's kind of fun. And um, yeah, there's some info here, but it's all in Greek. Uh, it's brewed according to the German purity law for beer of 1516. And they are both brewed with water by malt. Product of organic farming, hops, product of organic farming, non genetically modified yeast. And yeah, it's organic beers, and it, yeah, as I just said, organic beers bring according to the German purity law. But let's start out with the blonde, and let's see if I can open it a bit more properly than I've done the last couple of times it has been in bottles like this. I'm quite excited to see how good it's going to be. Are you ready? Ah, that was not good. Like, m me and Jacob did a collab of a, uh, a beer called St. Abre Hildegarde, which was a beauty guard, and it just shot out, man. That was cool. But that review isn't posted yet. It's for Jacob's channel. Let's get this. It's a premium lager, the blonde here. Cloudy yellow color. Looks like a bit beer, actually. A Belgian style wit beer, though it isn't. A two finger, slightly frothy white head. Looks good from the looks of it, so let's check out the aroma. Okay, there's a slightly sour note to it. Some grains. And also a little bit of like a grassy, hoppy note and like straw aroma. It's slightly sour actually. Some strains and reason that sourness along with the malt. Reminds me a little bit of peas, which is very, very strange. It isn't a really good aroma, it's really, really grainy. Maybe the taste is better, let's check it out. Yeah, the taste is definitely better. Um, it, it didn't have that sour note at all. Um, the body on it, it's light, it's re refreshing, as with most lagers of this style. It's not skunky, which is nice. It's got this slightly grassy, slightly citric hoppy note. Along with the flavor that reminds me a little bit of vegetables, and then that graininess, straw type flavor, it isn't that bad actually. Yeah, I still got just a slightly sour note to it, which is kind of off-putting. Uh, not the best beer I've had at all, really. Uh, it's also slightly dry in the mouth and also slightly crisp, but definitely not the best beer I've had. Still, it's definitely better than the the Mythos and the Mythos Red. Uh, rating wise for the first one here, the the Rithymian Blonde, I'm gonna give it a 55. I think it's a solid, just slightly above average lager. Uh, not that impressed by it, but maybe the the dark version is better, which is a dunkel. So I'll be back with the the dark in just a second. So guys, I'm back with the last of the. Rithymnian beer, the Rithymnian, oh, beer's the Rithymnian Dark. One thing I forgot to mention was the alcohol content on the other one, it's 4.8. And it's also 4.8 in this one. This one is a Dunkel, and when I say Dunkel, I don't mean a Dunkelweizen. I did a review of the König Ludwig Dunkel, and a lot of people thought it was a Dunkelweizen. When I say Dunkel, I mean the lager style called Dunkel, which is a lager style where you brew it with toasted malt. Um, but this is such a style, a dunkel, and maybe this is a little bit better, the other one was solid, but let's crack it open. This is the one with the Flensburger Pilsner bottle, that's kind of funny. Let's pop this sucker. Ah, that was bad. They don't really shoot out when I do it. I probably just suck at opening these flipped up bottles, but it's cool that it's flipped up bottles. So I'm back, the head has subsided a little bit, and as I said before, this is probably the lightest color dunkel I've ever seen. The dunkels tend to have a more slightly roasted brown type color. This is orange. This looks like almost like an IPA. That is very strange. 
Um, the head has a big forefinger, off-white head, which actually sticks around, which is quite nice. Um, nothing looking, nothing like what I expected from a Dunkel, but it's check out the aroma. Actually, it might look a little bit like a Hefeweizen because of the the yeast, but it's not. But let's check out the aroma. Oh. Yeah, get us. That was strange. Like, the aroma instantly reminds me of cooked vegetables. Like, the, the, the steam that comes up from, like, when you boil carrots or something. That's just strange. It's also organic. Yeah, slightly, lightly toasted aroma as well. Um. Yeah, graininess as well. Not really any hops in this one. It was more of a hoppy note in the other one. Well, those cooked vegetables type of aroma, that's, that scares me a little bit. That is just strange. A slightly toasted note, some sweet maltiness, um, no hoppy aroma at all. Well, let's give this Dunkel a taste. That is strange. It's got that sour note that the other one did, but it sort of tastes like cooked vegetables, like carrot or something. That is really, really strange. What? Like boiled vegetables? Yeah. Uh, other than that, I get that. Yeah, that sour note, some, some, some very, very lightly toasted malt. Um, it's, the body on it is also quite light. It's very dr uh, quite dry in the mouth actually, and it's very um, uh, very crisp as well. It's quite effervescent also. Yeah, that is just strange. Um, there is some bitterness as well from the hops, definitely, but not a distinct grassy or uh, citrusy hoppy taste at all. It's sort of like that strange cooked vegetable taste, along with those toasted malts, slightly sweet malty note, and some grains. And that's that's about it, uh, uh, and that sour note. It's it's quite quite a strange beer, I think. Uh, maybe I've gotten some bad batches because of that sourness, because this just tastes really really strange. Yeah, rating wise, I'm still gonna give this a fifty. Uh, it's an average beer. Um, you can check it out if you want to. I mean, the the cooked vegetables taste isn't really off putting for some strange reason. It's not like I'm thinking yuck. I mean, it's okay, but would I buy it again? No, I probably would not. I, I, if I had to choose one of these, I'd probably choose the blonde. I think that's a little bit better, because this, this is just strange. It doesn't even look like a dunkel, so that's strange. But, um, yeah, 55 for the blonde, a 50 for the <coughs> dark, the dunkel lager. And that's it for this beer review, guys. Remember to um, let me know what you think of these beers if you've had them. I'm pretty sure none of you have, because it's a very, very small microbrewery. And this is the only two beers they brew. So, um, yeah, remember to comment, subscribe, check out my older videos and all that stuff, guys. And I'm going to say cheers. And I'll see you in another beer review.